conservative new media viewers, we've got some news from the NBA. The Utah Jazz have gone into Southern California tonight and defeated the Los Angeles Lakers at Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. The final score of the game was 103-99 to for the Jazz. We'll include several links to stories about this game in the video description below the video player as soon as we can. The first of those links will be to the box score and video highlights of tonight's contest. We will give you some commentary and analysis on Kobe Bryant, the Lakers, and this game in just a moment, but first we'll run through the game details quickly. This matchup was tight for all four quarters. Utah is one of the only teams in the NBA that can bring the size and rebounding ability to contend with the Lakers, and they held their own on the boards tonight. The Jazz were up seven points with just two minutes to play, but L.A. was not quite finished. And with just seconds left in the game, Kobe Bryant had a three-point attempt to tie the game, but the shot was off and Utah held on for the win. More on Kobe in a moment. Paul Millsap led the Jazz with 24 points and nine rebounds. There were six Jazz players in double figures in points, and perhaps none was bigger than reserve guard Alec Burks. Burks had several of his 17 points late in the fourth, and his clutch play was key in this Utah victory. Andrew Bynum had 33 points and 11 rebounds for L.A. in the loss. Pau Gasol added 18 points and 10 boards for the Lakers. Utah improves to 23-22 and 22 with the win. L.A. falls to 28-17 and 17 on the year, and loses just its third home game all season versus 19 wins. Next up for the Lakers are the Houston Rockets on Tuesday, March 20th. That game will take place in Houston, Texas. Now for some commentary and analysis on this game and the Lakers. This was one of the worst nights in superstar Kobe Bryant's great career. Kobe shot just 3 of 20 from the field and also had seven turnovers. For you advanced statistics fans, Kobe's raw efficiency number for tonight was a dismal two. On the other hand, a real bright spot for L.A. tonight was the play of newly acquired guard Ramon Sessions. In 23 minutes of action, Sessions had 10 points, 6 assists, and no turnovers. What was the deal with Kobe's struggles tonight? I'm not sure, to be honest. Was it a problem with his injured right wrist? Perhaps. Is it just Kobe showing his age? That's unclear. Whatever the case, tonight was a tough night for Kobe and L.A. Given Los Angeles' struggles on the road this season, it is imperative that the team be able to close out average squads like Utah on their own home court if the Lakers expect to advance far this postseason. Give us your comments on this game below. Are you concerned about Kobe Bryant's performance in this game? Do you think Kobe's injured wrist may be bothering him on his shots? Are you impressed with Utah's performance tonight? You tell us below. Also, be sure to let us know what you thought about this video by clicking on the thumbs up or thumbs down button underneath the video player. Thanks. Finally, we encourage you to come and join the fun on the Conservative New Media Facebook group. You will find the link to the group in the video description. This is NBA expert Paul F. Villarreal, and you're watching Conservative New Media. Thank you for watching.